Hi everyone, I'm Go from Malaysia. I'm currently a primary mathematics teacher in SJKC Chiseng 2 Perak, Malaysia. Before that, thank you so much for having me here to share with you what we have did in our school for this wonderful event, Playful Education for Change. Before further ado, let me introduce my school to you all. This is my school. My school name is SJKC Chiseng Dua from Perak, Malaysia, uh, which is one of the under-enrolled school in a rural areas. Uh, my school is consists of 24 students per school. It's a huge, it's a small, very small school and consists of various race, uh, races. From this picture, we can see that we are studying uh, they are studying so happy in this school. Okay. For your further information, they are come from various backgrounds and mostly are low social economics. And from I was posted in this school since 2016. I have been teaching them for about six years. And the main problem, the main context of challenges that we face are we lack of uh, digital learning opportunities. But for me, I do believe that everyone deserves their own learning opportunity and digitals can empower them to learn more and to have a deep learning about their world and to expand their horizons. All right, okay. To address the contextual challenge, we have started our solution we have give yeah we have started our solutions by creating this uh, wonderful small space we call it dream space although it's small but it caters all the needs of the students every project every ideas we if try to implement we try to working it out is here okay and the students love this space so much as well as the teachers to do so, because I am not come from uh, computer science backgrounds, to do so, I try to invite experts from the outside to introduce robotics and coding programs to our kids. This is the first day we try to introduce the robotics Lego robot, the Lego robot, to our kids, and most of them were so enjoying in this workshop and in this talk. They start to exploring what they do know. They start to explore as well as the teacher. This is a very wonderful moment for us. So starting from there, we're trying to, uh, we try a lot. We're starting our own self. We try, we, we do the try and error methods to learn more about the robotics. After one year, we send, we, we build out our confidence, enroll ourselves in PetroScience RBTI Challenge for 2019 and the railroad robotic challenge to to our surprise we finally we were the finalists for the grand finals petro science and we also qualify ourselves from the state to national levels and we actually we get the brown medals bronze bronze medal back to our school okay and to do so, we also start to embed other students to do some hands-on activity, to do some project-based learning, uh, especially kids. These kids love to like do some uh, miniature, so they're starting to use the recycled things to do their uh, her dream house, her dream house by combining all the electronic components that we have in our school, and. To increase, to have fun in the, our learning, to create a fun learning environment, we we actually started to role playing. Okay, we started to use some role playing technique. And here we see we start to cook, we start to have our uh, magic hunt. And during the con, uh, during the pandemic, before the school closed, we try um, we try to educate them, don't scare them, teach them instead to learn about how actually we can prevent ourselves from the coronavirus. And we have a lot of fun learning in our school. Okay. So during the pandemic, actually Malaysia schools are, were closed for a few months. 
and this is a time to um, for this is the time for the educator to engage them to keep them learned and accountable so we i start to think about that i started to think about that uh, eventually i come up with this we try try to use the mario ideas we try to use the funny funny things and we try I try to be the empires the empires and the night nightingale okay to cite the poems and try to be a dental dentist to keep the students uh, interest in my online learning this is what can i do what can i do for them and they actually enjoy it so much okay beside that beside that we are not doing our project well playful project locally we try to and expand and we try to do some collaboration with uh, other countries locally uh, regionally or globally okay for this example this program is named connecting the dots okay for a world we help child malnutrition actually this program is aims to uh, empower our students to promote the awareness of zero hunger uh, according to the sdgs sustainable development goals to try to, uh, to teach them to know about that so we started to collaborate with uh, two artists from singapore okay we do it out at our home for free and the students start to know okay we can use the recycled materials to have a fun learning and they learn so much from that beside that we also do our virtual uh, virtual connection with other countries for example we can see here actually we have connected to ASEAN community we try to share our culture we share our um, unique from our schools and we try to connect with them we share the information from each other we get to know them we have friends and you can see from the picture the students are very the smiles can melt your heart okay all right after all we try to involve ourselves in minecraft power up stem with Minecraft. we try to uh, promote stem in our lesson plans in our daily lessons so we try we start with Minecraft educate Minecraft education edition we start to and involve ourselves in the global competitions from zero to heroes and eventually uh, what we what our pro, uh, the student project has been uh, recognized by Minecraft officially and published it uh, for 12 months in their blogs okay the examples and we also use the Kahoot to connect the peers, uh, to connect the school, which are the same under enrolled school together to play the Kahoot challenge. And we also try, we also have uh, successfully organized the Malaysian very first ever Malaysian Kahoot Cup to engage about 1,500 students across the national, across nations to join the Kahoot challenge and we from that we learned a lot from the students and we know about their needs and eventually the uh, the most important thing they have fun right okay these are the some examples that we have uh, the students work for Minecraft challenge has been uh, recognized and shared globally and the student is maybe like a very little uh, things uh, this is like a very little things to the others people but this is a big uh, this is a big surprise for the kids and we are much appreciate from with this okay and then during april 2020 uh, i received a call from uh, isabella from kahoot um, they would like to showcase what we did in Malaysia. So I actually we are matching Microsoft and Kahoot to the define the classroom collaboration. We are in integrating the Kahoot into the Minecraft to create a virtual uh, hand, a virtual escape room with a student, and the student have to answer the, all the challenge and get the code to escape from the room within the time fix. Okay, within the time fix, and Isabella and Mike uh, 
I found it that very special and they actually showcase uh, during the Kahoot, edu, uh, Kahoot Education Summit 2020. Okay, these are the things that we do. We using the Kahoot to do the STEM challenge project during the MCO, during the school closure. We try to use this. You, the student use Canva to design their own poster to explain the thing, explain the step by step to create their own volcanoes. Okay. So these are the few things, these are the few solutions I use to address the context of challenge, try them to engage, try to bridge the digital gap between the rural areas and the city areas. But uh, till now, I found it, I found it successful. I found it successful to engage the students very well, uh, to engage, to keep them learn and to keep them accountable. They are much more confident compared to the previous. And for me, teaching is not a pet, it's not a profession, it's about patience. Okay, it's about patience. And I share with you, this is some solution from me to address the contextual challenge of rural area students. Thank you so much.